Hello everyone! Hello! Welcome back to Chris and Scott's Colorado Adventures. Hey, it's Kiki Thursday! It sure is. And in this edition, we're going to go a little more tropical than we have in our past mm -hmm. couple. Fruity. That's right, fruity. I like that. Um, last couple were a little more smoky. This one is more uh, pineapple-y. We're going to for sure have that and some guava. This is called the Leilani Volcano 2.0 and or the also known as the Leilani Nouveau. Mm. <laughs> uh, a little history here again we're going off of Smuggler's Cove book. Uh, this was created for the Walt Disney Family Museum Tiki Oasis Party in 2013 and this updated recipe uses coconut cream and a blended aged rum in place of coconut rum and uses a guava soda in place of guava ne nectar for the sparkle. So, uh, yep, pretty cool. Uh, we are going to be using two more tiki mugs this time. And because this is a uh, based on a Walt Disney um, drink, we thought we'd use some tiki mugs from Trader Sam's from Walt Disney World. Yeah, because we got a couple of those. We got a couple. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And uh, we'll show you which ones we got here in just a minute. So, we'll just do a quick, this is what this is going to have here. Uh, oh, uh, glassware for this. Again, we're using tiki mugs. We're just, yeah. Uh, it recommends using a, a Collins or a highball. Which they show a picture of that. So. Nope, that's a different one. Oh, that's, that's not the it? trade wind. Oh, but I think that's still a highball. Is it? Sure. Maybe. Uh, we'll put a picture here. Yeah. So you can see what one of those or both of those look like. Uh, okay, and uh, real quick, this is what it is. Three ounces of guava soda. Tell me how. Yeah. Bam. Uh, one and a half ounces pineapple juice. Bam. Uh, three, uh, three quarter ounces lime juice. And then we have some. We do. Uh, an ounce of coconut cream. Bam. There we go. And one and a half ounces blended aged rum. Which we're still using we're our still ginormous using our bottle of rum from the Costco. That's right. So we're going to use that. Uh, again, this is spiced rum. They're probably asking for a different kind of rum, but hey, hey that's what we're doing. All right. And then they do have, say we should garnish with a edible orchid. We don't got that. It's so not that time of year. We get a cool umbrella. umbrella. All right. All right. Then. Almost the same. <laughs> Almost the same. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, put these together here. All right. All right. Um, all right. So here we go. So uh, first, we're going to add the guava soda to our Collins or Highball or Tiki mug, uh, and that again is going to be uh, three ounces of the guava soda, one and a half ounces pineapple juice. Should I do, because we're making two of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're gonna do four ounces. So I do four ounces? Mm -hmm. okay. A quarter ounce lime juice. Uh, okay, and then one ounce coconut cream. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Squish it in there. What's next? All right, uh, one and a quarter, half ounces of the rum. All right. Okay. Here it is. We are ready to go. We're like real bartenders. We are kind of like real bartenders. 
we'll get there eventually where we won't have any problems. Um, we modified the... Uh, we did modify a little bit. We added and stuff. Um, so our coconut cream was frozen. So we had kind of like so a that slushy. Looked weird. So that looked weird. Um, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, we kind of upgraded everything. Yeah. So maybe if you have this, leave it out for an hour or so yeah, before or you use it. Don't you put it in the very back of your fridge. <laughs> I don't know. Oh well. Oh well. Doesn't make okay. a difference. Okay. Uh, it's a double strain. We're just gonna strain. And uh, so we added ice to our fellows here. So um, we've got our shrunken head dude. Trader Sam's there on the, uh, it doesn't say it on the back, it says it on the bottom actually. Yep. And uh, what edition is this? I don't know. It is fourth edition. Yeah, so they still have them, but they're in different colors. Yep. They're pretty cool. That one's pretty cool. And then because we're doing the volcano today, we decided to do our volcano mug from Trader Sam's. And Which also one, come in different colors. They do, and this one is, again, uh, I can't read it. It looks like maybe third edition. I don't know. If uh, somebody has these, if you've seen this and you're saying, I have that and it's actually second edition, sorry, it's hard to see in here. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Let's see what we got. Now don't forget, we already added, what did we add? Uh, our guava juice to these before. Yeah. So the guava is not in here, it's only in the mugs. Smells very coconutty. All right, and you said we're supposed to garnish with a lotus? Yes. You made uh, a little paper tree instead? Paper tree instead. They kind of aren't the greatest, but. There you go. There it, it looks is. Fantastic. All right, so this is the Leilani Volcano 2.0. Smells good. It does. Smells really good. I Let's try it. it. Ah. <laughs> All right. We don't use straws on this one. We didn't for some reason. So. Yeah, I'll take those out. Mm. That's really good. I. Yeah, that's real good. I like the combination of the guava and the pineapple. I agree. I can really taste and, the pineapple yeah. and the guava. But I don't really taste the uh, coconut. No, but I think it smooths it out. It takes away from the the, the real tartness. acidy tartness of the I juices. Oh, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. Mm. And with the rum. Yeah, I think this is my favorite of the three that we've done. Yeah, I like it. I it's like really the good. fruity. And it's not over the top fruity. No, it's not super fruity. Yeah. There you go. Well, there you go. It's easy. Super easy to make. Yeah. So, but yeah, a little something different. So there you go. All right. The Lilani Volcano 2.0 here on a Tiki Thursday. So, all right. Uh, we'll be continuing to do these. We'll see if we can get, as we continue, we'll get a little more complicated. We'll branch out and try some different stuff. We'll try. We'll try. <laughs> we'll get there. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and hit the notification bell. That's right. That way you'll know when we're releasing all our Tiki Thursdays. Oh, it's okay. on a Thursday. That's a hint. <laughs> all right. That's it from Chris and Scott's Colorado Adventures Tiki Thursday. We will see you next time. <laughs>